noticed that the man is posing on the bed. At that moment, a man slowly came from behind. The next second, the man lunged right in. As he watched the two about to have something happen, the door was suddenly opened. What the hell is going on here? The story begins with the man who was supposed to sketch the model, who expected a sudden slip of the foot, resulting in an indescribable scene in the next second. Just as both were very shocked, the choreographer walked in. She frowned see in place straight away. The artist was just about to explain that it was definitely not what the choreographer saw. However, the current choreographer is completely deaf, thinking that she had gotten in the painter's way. She then prepared to turn away. As a result, the painter said that the model was his assistant. Hearing this, the choreographer had even more bad associations. She hastened to reassure them by stating that she was definitely not that kind of prejudiced woman. Seeing that the explanation was not clear, the assistant got up and explained to her what had happened. As it turns out, just a short while ago, the painter was struggling with the fact that he was running out of inspiration. When the assistant learned of this, he offered to assist him in gaining inspiration. The painter was ecstatic to hear this, but then it suddenly occurred to him that something seemed wrong. He then went over the poses to be struck in events with his assistant. Looking at the pictures in the computer, the assistant was a little embarrassed, but after all, she was dedicating herself to art, so he agreed to the painter's request anyway. That's when the artist realized the angle was a little off. So he came behind his assistant and tried to instruct, who would have thought that the next moment he would accidentally slip on his feet, causing himself to suddenly fall on top of his assistant. Sure enough, everything became a lot easier in front of a handsome face. After a good deal of difficulty in resolving the misunderstanding, the painter had wanted to reprimand the choreographer for casually breaking into his house. The choreographer, however, changed the subject to that of a potluck dinner to celebrate the assistant's induction. The aide wanted to refuse but the next moment he was forced to pull him into the restaurant anyway. At this point, the choreographer took out the script that the artist had sent last time. She praised the scene of the shirt, ripping open as very real and asked if he had tried it in reality. At that moment, the painter also suddenly remembered what happened yesterday and could not help but feel weak. During his lunch break, his assistant, who was catching up on his work, looked at the artist asleep on the couch and couldn't help but smile. Just as he reached out to fix the painter's hair, the painter snapped out of it. This scared the assistant into hitting him straight away with the excuse of getting him up. After that, the assistant left in a hurry, leaving the painter alone, covering his head and screaming in pain. And the story between the assistant and the painter begins with that one accident. The artist at that time, as a result of drawing these kinds of cartoons for a long time, caused him to actually suffer from sexual dysfunction. Plus he's got the writer-director's hands full every time he turns in a script. So the two decided to recruit an assistant online. However, the moment they saw the modeling profile, the two instantly understood each other. The first interviewer was the lovely man in front of me. Although he could accept staying up late to catch up on his work, he refused to work in the studio. The second interviewer, although experienced, spoke in a manner that made the painter very uncomfortable. So this one is out too. Just as he was agonizing over his inability to find a suitable assistant, the sudden roar of an automobile sounded downstairs. At this moment, a tall model with sunglasses in her eyes walked down from the car. Looking at the proud and cool model in front of him, the painter actually lost his mind for a moment, and his heart began to beat wildly and uncontrollably. After realizing that he had lost his temper, the artist got up to pour coffee for the model. In the kitchen, the painter touched his chest and looked at the model behind him. Then he started interviewing with the model, and that's when the model made her offer. He asked to work on time and never overtime. The painter was a little embarrassed, but readily agreed in order to keep the model. The model was just about to get up when she accidentally spilled coffee all over her. Both of them frouncy a little, but even more shocking is yet to come. The artist actually ripped open the other man's shirt with one hand. For a moment, neither of them knew how to react. But the next moment, the painter realized he was reacting down there. So the painter covered his bottom in a panic, and then he left in a hurry with the excuse of getting a change of clothes. Finally, after changing into the yellow t-shirt given by the painter, the model had wanted to leave was surprised to learn that he had been hired. The two agreed to report to the studio tomorrow. At the bar, Big Brother looked at the model in the cartoon t-shirt and frowncy on the spot as well. He thought to himself, is this the way to dress for an artist's audition these days? He then inquired of the model what the painter was like. Just as the two continue to drink, the woman sees that the conversation has failed and has to leave for the time being. And Big Brother was overwhelmed with fear. He blamed the model for always asking him to drink in bars like this. Yet the model replied because it's interesting here. He then left first on the pretext of washing his hands. And that's how the model became an assistant in the beginning of the story of the two. Inside the cafe, the painter asked his assistant to leave first after indicating that he had an appointment. Daed, though a little puzzled, headed for the door. As a result, 
The next moment, he saw the choreographer walk in, so the assistant poked his head out in a hurry, and at this point, the writer-director had closed his eyes for three days because the painter was delayed in delivering the script. She also teased that at this rate, she would be living in a painter's house. This scene, however, was a different one in the eyes of the assistant. After hearing the editorial director compliment himself that their original draft had improved a lot recently, the artist looked a little embarrassed, and the assistant had, at some point, Saturday in the cafe as well. Looking at the clasp hands of the two people in front of him, the assistant immediately realized that something was wrong. He thinks the two are dating. But in reality, the writer-director was just pointing out that the handcuffing in the cartoon was incorrect. She then opened her bed. This startled the painter. That's quite a variety of props. Lo, before the painter could react, his own hands were firmly cuffed by the choreographer. The painter also did not expect the woman to be so skillful. Yet the writer-director says that, after all, he's been responsible for these kinds of comics for several years. With that, she was about to take out all her belongings, frightening the painter and stopping him. She then teased the artist about whether or not he had recently fallen in love, and he used the same one. It scared the painter to death. At this point, the choreographer suggested that the artist could use 3D modeling for the background, yet the old curmudgeonly painter insisted on drawing by hand. After all, he had assistants on hand to assist the artist with the difficulties of finding material and framing. The choreographer immediately said that everything was wrapped up in her. So the next second, the two appeared together in front of the couple's hotel. At that moment the painter raised his hand to signal the choreographer to uncuff him. The choreographer then realized he had forgotten to untie him, and the scene was misunderstood by the assistant who had followed him. The two then walked into the hotel. This stunned the aide who was peeking over the side. The assistant looked at the hotel sign and was even more surprised. In the evening, the writer-director takes the artist or her friend's bar for a scene. She tells him that there are a lot of BL couples here, and hopes the artist is not prejudiced. But when he goes in, he sees the assistant with his big brother. The painter was too shocked to speak. <laughs> On this day, the editorial director came to the male painter to press for a draft, but the male assistant said he was taking a shower. The choreographer is worried that he won't be able to catch up tonight, who knew that the next moment, the painter would be in the bathroom calling out his assistant's name, and he said something that led to speculation. At this point, the choreographer immediately understood and then prepared to leave. Faced with the male assistant's explanation, the choreographer laughed and said it didn't matter. After all, there's nothing more important than that. As it happened, that's when the painter came out of the shower. So the assistant told him about the painter talking in the bathroom and being overheard by the choreographer. The painter momentarily panicked a little at hearing this. After assuring the choreographer that he would explain it all to him, the assistant was just about to leave. Unexpectedly, the painter pulled him back. Meanwhile, Big Brother is suddenly involved in a car accident on his way back. At this moment, he seemed to remember something. At the hospital, Looking at the aides who had rushed to visit him, the older brother couldn't help but smile a little. Memories of the past also instantly came to mind. Turns out he didn't care about the assistant in the first place. It just felt new, because the other person has no qualms about stating social taboos and expressing his or her thoughts accurately. It made him, who had always lived according to popular ideas, feel something he had never felt before. But one day, the assistant's attention is on another man. Although he tried his best to hide it, he couldn't hide it from himself as a close friend. For a long time, Big Brother couldn't help but flirt with the fact that he used to be the one who accompanied his assistant. I never thought that one day it would be the other way around. However, the aide told him not to talk too much and to get better quickly. In the bar, the painter was drinking alone. I thought about how whenever I was working with my assistant, my Big Brother always called from time to time, and the assistant was the first to leave. This upset him a bit. After all, the other person was much better than he was. On the couch, the painter was suddenly awakened by a scent. Turns out it's his birthday. The assistant is helping him in the kitchen to make seaweed soup. However, that's when Big Brother called again. Seeing that it was his birthday and the assistant had to leave, the painter got a little upset. He bluntly stated that if the aide left he would never have to come back. The assistant, however, turned and left the studio after slipping an envelope into the painter's hand. Looking at the envelope left for him by his assistant, the painter mouthed that he would never read it. But it turned out that the next second, he opened the envelope without a fight and read it. It turns out that when he was in art school, he loved the paintings done by the artist. His admiring self just watched quietly from a distance. He was even less sure that the painter would see the letter, but he always wondered if there would be a day when the painter would notice him. Originally, the memory was already buried in the heart, but he didn't expect that one day he would meet the painter again as his assistant. Seeing this, the painter, who could no longer suppress himself, immediately chased after him. And at that moment, the assistant appeared in front of him, 
And with that, the two finally got back together, and the story of the painter and his assistant does not end there. Let's all look forward to season 2.